a beast from ancient times, its fangs like razors. With its lightning fast bite and swimming speed, it can outpace fish. This is one amazing gharial. They shared the world with Cretaceous dinosaurs for almost a hundred million years, just like their prehistoric counterparts. They coexist alongside the bulkier mugger crocodiles in the rivers of northern India and Nepal, where they can be found. Among all crocodilians, the gharial is considered to be one of the rarest and most specialized species. Their slender, narrow snout, which has a small bulb at the tip, is what makes them most distinctive. This is a hunting-related adaptation. Expert fish catchers and gharials require a fast meal to capture swiftly moving aquatic targets. They have less resistance from the water as their slender nose slices through it. Despite not being as swift as gharials, wide-snouted crocodiles have more powerful bites. Other crocodilians like the Malayan false gharial, which has a snout bulb absent, have similar characteristics. Gharials are nonetheless deadly, even if their bites are not as strong as those of lesser crocodiles. Almost a hundred of their teeth resemble needles. The gharials' mouths are used to capture fish, and their teeth interlock like a zipper. Gharials have been shown to quickly shake their heads in an attempt to capture fish, although they often ambush their meal. For their more, especially in their juvenile stages, they consume other aquatic foods, including frogs and crabs. Gharials mostly eat fish. However, there have been stories of them taking small dogs and goats. They have also evolved a bulb at the end of their snout to help them survive underwater. It is devoid of cartilage and bones. However, it does have chambers that serve as resonators. As opposed to other crocodilians, they are unable to run on land and have comparatively weak arms that make it difficult for them to support their own weight. But they are quite nimble underwater. They can swim quite well because of their long, flattened tails and webbed feet. The gharial is seriously threatened. Since then, captive bred gharials have been released into the wild as part of conservation initiatives. There are still less than 1,000 adults in the wild which is unfortunate because numbers haven't increased as predicted. Mining, dam building, gillnet fishing, and water pollution are the primary causes of habitat devastation that prevent the majority of reintroduced gharials from reaching adulthood. Gharial population restoration efforts are still in progress, and perhaps better environmental circumstances will allow these swift-moving chainsaws to reclaim their rightful place in the natural world.